because I've been competing in USA Climbing for so long, I've run across a lot of Momentum Climbing team members. And through them and meeting a lot of the coaches there, I've decided to come to Salt Lake City and climb outside and take part in their practices and stuff like that. So recently we had Kai Leitner come in to Salt Lake City and uh, we had a chance to show him around and take him around climbing. And he came in just because a few weeks ago he was here for Seco Comp and he climbed a little bit with the team while he was here and we had you know team dinner with him and everything and um, had a lot of fun with Kai and so he decided he wanted to come back and Jeff told him that we could show him you know some limestone and different rock types that he hasn't climbed on before and uh, and so I think he was really intrigued and wanted to come out to Utah and see what it was all about. It ended up being kind of um, a very uh, rare rained out week in the fall in Utah it just doesn't happen here that often but he was able to get a day or two in American Fort Canyon and another day in Maple. Even, uh, I believe, a day on granite uh, up in Little Cottonwood. And bouldering's not really his thing, um, but it's good for him. And I think he really enjoyed it up there. Climbing at different cracks that are not my style definitely helps me improve as a climber because it opens up to different kinds of rock and different kinds of routes and so I've really enjoyed going outside of my comfort zone and going to different cracks that although not necessarily my style turned out to be really fun. I think climbing in you know in Utah it's really diverse and you know me growing up here in Salt Lake I've been really lucky growing up you know climbing on every rock type there is and uh, every canyon that we have all the way down the different valleys they all change in rock type and even quality that's really cool just because you get to see so many different sides of climbing you know you can go bouldering and sport climbing and you know trad climbing or any you know any type of climbing that you want to do and uh, it all happens here in Salt Lake. Um, climbing in Salt Lake is a definitely an awesome experience because there's a lot of diversity in the routes if you have different styles, you can just go to the crag that appeals to you the most. And that's the diversity of Salt Lake City climbing is definitely interesting and awesome. And I hope to come back. So Kai, you know, did some practicing with us and some training with the team. And uh, that kind of entailed him just being part of the team, just being another kid, you know. He came and he warmed up with us and, you know, we'd do a whole team workout and we just started climbing, we started doing a little bit of bouldering and just hanging out and then, you know, it kind of came time to train and he came right upstairs with us to the training area at Momentum Mill Creek and we just, you know, kind of put down the training. We just did it and he was super psyched to get it done and he hadn't trained since he won the world championships in New Caledonia and so I think it was good for him to get back into a little bit more of a routine that he's used to and uh, he crushed the workout and showed all of us up and it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the team kids here, they're, they're involved in, in two really separate aspects of the sport. They, they get to go rock climbing almost as often as they want because they live close to the crags. And they're also part of a competitive team and they, they do all the competitions and they, they try to get to the top level just the way Kai does. And so I don't know that a, a one week trip was much time uh, to learn from Kai, but they have learned along this, this long rope season um, that, that this kid, Kai Leitner, has this great fortitude to be able to, way back at the beginning of the season, which for him was Youth World Championships last year, when he messed up on a move, took fourth place. That was the start of his new season and he said, I'm going to win the world championship. That's my goal. He didn't say, I want to make the finals. I hope I get on the podium. He said, I want to stand on top of the podium. And so to be able to, to be able to say that and then to spend an entire 12 months focused on that goal is it's a pretty amazing thing for a young person. And I know that our, our kids, the younger ones, are inspired by that kind of motivation and focus and they can learn from that and then his peers uh, Ben Tresco who traveled with him and had an amazing result as well 
we're also inspired, you know? Kai can do that, I, I can do that too. It's not enough to make finals next year for Ben. He, he knows he can do that. And now, now he's, he's not only motivated by his own performance, but by seeing a US teammate that was able to stand on top of the podium. It's very motivating for those kids. I think it's very important to have friends and people in the climbing community that you're able to hang out with and climb with because at the end of the day, climbing is an activity that should be fun and that you should enjoy in a place where you should be able to meet a lot of friends and be able to connect with people and share a common interest. Yeah, it's, it's really important to kind of meet people from around the country and you know, just different people in the climbing community because, you know, now I've talked to Kai and, you know, we've been talking about maybe me coming back east and climbing out there, maybe in the New River Gorge and stuff like that, you know, just having the network and, you know, kind of all coming together. And I think everyone is kind of knitted together in the climbing community. It's a really close community, even though we're all so far apart. Kai's getting older now and Connie's going to let him, you know, fly out to places where he has friends. And so I, I think first and foremost, Kai learned that he's got friends here in Salt Lake, that there's a diverse rock climbing everywhere that it's not a four hour drive to get to a good cliff. And uh, I, th I think that was most important for him. Because of the rain and the shortness of some of the days, I don't think he really, I don't think he came away with, you know, just mastery of AF Canyon or mastery of Little Cottonwood. It, I think he got the tip of the iceberg of some of those new rock types. And, and now he can come back with his just amazing talent and you know, learn the lessons that, that even great climbers have to learn about that new stuff. And I, I think he's excited about that challenge. You know, I, I just want to thank Kai for coming out and hanging out with me. You know, he gave me a climbing par partner for a week and uh, we just had a lot of fun. And, and you know, I, I think we're gonna definitely have to hook up again and go climb somewhere. If not here in Utah, you know, I'll have to go back east for sure. And, and he can show me some of the good stuff out there and be my guide.